Hey guys, welcome back Trip and Farm 4 Pop. I'm your host Trip Coach and let's jump right into it. So this is part two of the uh, NFT V3 dog migration. And I got some messages from the previous video. People said they're still confused. And yeah, there's a lot of moving pieces in here and I'll try to break down what I know. And if I leave something out, let me know in the comments. So there was some questions about staking and the migration side. So what I did before, remember I had these staked AFDs and then I withdrew uh, 10 of them and they ended up over here. So that was pretty self-explanatory and I can do that again, but let's look at the migration of old stakes. Cause this was a locked stake, so to speak. It was already there. Now here's some old ones that do not have any dogs. These are just the coupons. So let's say you have these coupons available. Let me find one I can actually use. So in order to use these, you gotta have the amount of dogs listed on this voucher or coupon. And since I only have 5.9, I'm gonna have to find one of the lower stakes. So this is not a good one in regards to percentage, but we're gonna do that anyway. So this one migrate. And then in order to migrate it, I need to add this 1.032 dogs to the actual, um, stake. So let's go ahead and hit the migrate button and then approve this on the ledger. So we'll be adding the 1.03 dogs to this stake, which will create an NFT with these dogs in it and with this 46% tax deduction. All right, just to prove that, let that go through NFT ID to be determined. So it hasn't been minted yet. It will be minted shortly submitted and there we have it nft 401 whatever um this is the dogs that i just added to that and you can see that this balance did indeed reduce over here right so now the question is what do you do with these well you can sell them on OpenSea. i already showed you that in the previous video but what you want to do if you want to farm you have to actually select this and then come down here to farm and then you'll have to actually um add the dogs that dog balance that's there on that wallet or that nft so for me that's the 1000 1 1.032 then i'm going to need to add the equivalent bnb or busd since i have more busd let's do that so that's three dollars and 41 cents that'll need to be applied to hit max on that and it automatically does it because you got to match your dogs and your BNB or BUSD. Then we can approve for stake. First time interacting with this contract. I'm going to copy that because I'm going to use it um, next time when I go into BSC scan. But let's go ahead and approve that. And accept. All right, that got approved. See it down there, approve NFT successful. So now, let's see, that was just the approval. I didn't actually, um, man, I always forget about that whenever I'm recording these videos with you guys. So that was just the first approval. So need to actually now pre approve for the stake. So that wasn't done the first time. First time you interact with the contract, you got to approve it. Second time it goes through. And whenever I'm recording, I always seem to forget that for some odd reason. All right, so that was the approved to stake transaction. So now we should see something else pop up here. And remember, you do have these different ways to arrange your stakes. So you have the old school data driven way that we're used to. Then you have the cool little images. Then you have uh, bigger with a slider. And when you're on this one, you can it'll pop up so you can see it. All right, so in theory now, Let's see, that should have shown up. Farm LP stakes created by dog pound NFTs. And that did not. Okay, this is very interesting. Now it says farm. So it looks like there was three different transactions. Let's review this in real time. So you guys have um, some information as well. So 
This was the first one Then I got it from the migration and I added the dogs to it. This, the next transaction was the set approval to interact with the contract. Then this approved the actual BUSD. Okay, so that makes sense. So it's the approval for all the dogs. Now I remember this from Forex's AMA. Since it's an NFT, you have to set the approval that you are interacting with a contract that will basically be able to interact on your behalf with all tokens. This is the ERC-271 contract. So that means everything shares the same contract ID. So that's the first one. Then the second one is approving the BUSD. Then this is actually farming. Okay, so it's a three-step process for I guess going forward, it should only be two after you do it the first time. Um, I don't know, Rabi might make you do it every single time. So now you can see this is actual transaction changing. So $3.41, one dog pound NFT out and one NFT in. So this makes more sense. Now it should show up in the stakes option. So it's three transactions and hopefully I explained that to you guys. Like I said, I'm doing this in real time myself. So now i think we've done everything we need to and uh, and my busd balance never changed before so it should change now and it did 156 1056 and i do now have 4081 there stake so that does work and manage allows you to withdraw a portion of the dogs busd lps that are there i guess can't do that right now because I think it's a 24 hour cooldown. That's what he said. Let's go 0.3 just to see. I got some AFP that's claimable already, or maybe that was from my pre, oh, that's from my previous stake. But this should not allow you to claim. And I'm just showing you guys that so you can be familiar because I believe it's a 24 hour cooldown period. But let's see. That's what it's supposed to be on the dogs BUSD side. So this is just replacing what's um, on the regular farm, dogs BUSD and dogs uh, BNB. Well, it said successful. Interesting. And it let that happen. So, oh, because they're LPs, not just dogs. Sorry. So that 24 hour cooldown is only for the actual dogs. The, I thought it was for both. Uh, you guys let me know. I thought the pools and farms all had a 24 hour cooldown. But either way, you're basically replacing this here, doing this on the back end. So I don't know if going forward, if this will be removed or if it'll stay here. That part, I'm not sure. But hopefully that at least explained how to migrate your stakes. So remember, when you migrate, you got to have um, dogs and then you will need to come over here and stake them if you want to stake them. And then if you want to sell them, it's the same thing, just in reverse. So you highlight one of these, you go over to sell, and then you can sell the actual dogs in there for BNB or BUSD. And then of course you can sell the entire stake over on uh, OpenSea, that's the easiest place. So the last thing to look at is you can still stake your dogs as the same way we did before. But now remember, you're gonna have so this is my new dogs I've accumulated. So if I stake these now, then I am only um, getting these dogs at whatever location I put them in, linear at 0.75 reduction or um, auto at 1% per day. So depending on where you put them, that will dictate uh, what that tax reduction will be. And when you pull it out, what that NFT will mint at. So it's best if you have some dogs already available, find your um, most advanced tax reduction stakes and pair those dogs up with that. But remember, you gotta have that value. So like for me on this one, uh, it's 74% tax reduction, but I don't have the dogs to put in there. This one still has 20 in it, so those can migrate, but um, I can't add anything to these dogs anymore. This 20 is going to be the max. I can't add any dogs to this stake. All right. Hope that provides some clarity. And if you still got some other questions, let me know what I missed, but that should be at least part two. And if we need a part three, I'll be happy to do that. All right. Smash that HBO special. Help brother out. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? 
Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.